Good evening. This is a screencast of problem number eight from the midterm exam. And the reason I'm doing this at this time is because I don't think a single student completely got this problem correct. So let's go over this problem. This is the one involving a fish that's dropped by a pelican that's rising steadily at 0.5 meters per second. So the pelican and the fish at time t equals zero uh, has a velocity of 0.5 meters per second in a positive direction. Let's put down everything we know uh, at time t equals zero. We know the velocity of the pelican is equal to the velocity of the fish, which is equal to 0 0.5 meters per second. That's a positive velocity. It's moving upward. I should put down that this is a fish here, so we won't confuse that with the final velocity. Um, we know that the horizontal velocity of the pelican and the fish is immaterial. It's not even mentioned, so we don't care if the pelican is just really hovering there or moving at a positive velocity of anywhere from one meter per second to whatever meter per second because everything is happening in the vertical direction as far as the question is concerned. We know that the acceleration of the pelican in the vertical direction is zero. Its initial velocity is equal to its final velocity is equal to 0.5 meters per second throughout this problem, throughout the 2.5 seconds. However, the acceleration of the fish at times t equals zero, supposed to be an f there, subscript f, is equal to negative 9.8 meters per second squared at the instant that the fish is dropped. First part of the question asks, what is the velocity of the fish after 2.5 seconds? The velocity of the fish, the final velocity from the definition of acceleration, is equal to the initial velocity of the fish plus its acceleration times the time. We plug in the numbers, we know the initial velocity because the fish was traveling with the pelican at 0.5 meters per second in the vertical direction when it was dropped plus negative 9.8 meters per second squared times the time of 2.5 seconds and these terms reduce to a total of negative 24.0 meters per second. Now this this small term here, the 0.5 meters per second, is significant. You, you had to add that to this term and if you just did this part of the equation and not that, and you did not get full credit because this was important to that. Second part of the question asks how far below the pelican is the fish after 2.5 seconds. So what we're looking for here is we're looking for this entire distance because the pelican moves up in that 2.5 seconds while the fish moves down. So we can calculate this first part of it because the pelican's moving at an average velocity. Its initial velocity is equal to its final velocity. It's equal to 0.5 meters per second. So this distance of the pelican going upward is equal to its velocity times the time, which is equal to 0.5 meters per second times the time of 2.5 seconds, and that's equal to 1.25 meters. That's important because that's a distance that the pelican moves up while the fish is moving down. So all we need to do is find this dimension and we can add the absolute values of both these dimensions to get our final answer. Well this distance of the fish is equal to the initial velocity of the fish times time plus one half a t squared from our kinematics relationships. Initial velocity of the fish is 0 0.5 meters per second times the time of 2.5 seconds plus one half acceleration of negative 9.8 meters per second squared times 2.5 seconds. That's all squared. And this total comes out to be negative 29.375 meters. 
That's this dimension here. To get the entire dimension, we have to add these two numbers together. So the delta D total, and you have to take the absolute value because one's moving up and one is moving down. So you have 1.25 meters, the distance the pelican moved up, plus 29.375 meters, the distance the fish moved down, for a total of 30.625 meters. By all means, if you have any questions about this, please let me know, and I'll be sure to address them in a private thread or in a general discussion area. Thank you.